Hello, um, today I want to show you how I created this image. It's an image of a couple standing in a lake. I called this one Peaceful Pond. So um, here we go. This is how we started. Started with a green screen. An image of a couple in front of a green screen. And you get your background eraser which hides over here on the left underneath your eraser tools. Alright, so um, you need a tolerance between I don't know, 80 and 100, just depends. Sometimes this will take some of the detail out from the couple that you're trying to keep. So you start at 100 and if it doesn't work, try a bit lower. I've already tried this one, 80% seems to work on this image. Alright, so you cut the background out. Now if we um, have a look around here, you normally get a bit of green bleeding in to the hair, alright, so to fix that up, make a clipping mask, so we put a layer over the top of that, and make a clipping mask, alright, so um, if you're not aware of how to use a clipping mask, if you, that layer above, you just right click on it, and in here it should say create clipping mask, click on that, now anything you paint on this layer is only going to appear on on the, the couple underneath, so I'll just show you that. Alright, so I just put a green line across them. Alright, so this layer here, we change this to the blend mode hue. Take a sample of the colour that we want to um, match, which in this case on her it's her white hair. Then with the brush at 100% and the flow at 100%, we we paint over the hair there. So I might just zoom in so you can see that what it's actually doing. All right, so see the green there. You just paint over it. You just paint the green away. Try to give you some shortcuts um, to change the size of the brush. Your um, left and right square bracket keys. Change the size of the brush. Um, all right, so there's a bit of green there from his shirt. So I'll just take another sample. Paint that in. Right. Take a sample of the white. Paints that green away. Okay, so that's our couple. All right, so I'm going to make a, a stamp of this two layers. So I want these two layers together. Alright, so you highlight the top layer, Control, Shift, Alt, and E. So it pops, them t it pops that image onto its own layer, and the clipping mask has been applied to it. So you, you can see there, there's no green in the hair. Okay, so this is the background I'm going to use. Now, um, this background is a second life background but I have done some editing on on the sky there so um, I haven't got time to show you how I did that at the moment but it's um, just a stock image that I've made for myself and I've used it in a number of number of pictures now to make the lake I have a plug-in and it's called flood all right so um, I'll put a link somewhere I'll make it appear of where you can get flood from but it's it's a plugin that you can get and once you've installed it if you go to um, your filters you can see it's there under flaming pair flood 2 all right so um, with flood it makes um, a really good water effect but 
for this particular picture here I don't want it to be I don't want so so many ripples so I'm going to make it a bit smoother take the waves down a bit or like that So I'll just apply that, and you'll see. So one thing I should have done before that, <laughs> we'll rectify now, I should have made a copy of that picture first, because I want to do a few edits on it, to deal with this line that runs across there. So I'll do that right now. All right, so I'm just going to paste that image back in there. try to. There we go. I'm going to put, just change the order that they're in. Now I'm going to put a layer mask on, on this. And just make that look a little bit more natural. couple that's underneath I'm going to place above and resize All right, now that the couple's there Alright, so um, just a tip, when you transform, the shortcut is Control t If you hold down your Shift key and drag on the corners, it transforms in perspective, so you don't get one side blowing out and it becomes out of shape. Alright, Enter. I'm going to make a copy of this, so you highlight the layer, Control j Another way of doing that is just dragging it down to the bottom here, to that folder there, and it makes a copy. Now I'm going to put this copy down underneath. Now I need to do another stamp of those images. Alright, so it's Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And it's put that all up onto its own layer. Now I'm going to apply that water effect again. So, um, filter flood. So this time I need to change the water level. And I'm going to change the um, undulations and things, just try to um, get that to match in a bit there. So, if I um, bring the waves down even more, perhaps. So we'll go with that. Let it apply. All right, so we need to deal with this line that is there. So I'm going to um, put a layer mask on that. And this is the reason we leave that couple below because we need to reveal some of their legs again. So with a soft brush and black, I'm going to go across that line there. All right, and again the square bracket keys just to make the brush bigger. And we're going to try to blend all that together, and then on the legs, 
we don't see straight lines in nature so I'm just going to okay going to need just along the margin there it should be a bit darker I think so I'm going to um, oh, it's a bit of a dodge and burn trick that I do but I, I do mine a bit differently so I'm going to do this by going to the um, curves so I'm going to darken everything and then on the layer mask of that uh, uh, adjustment layer I'm going to invert that so it's invisible. All right, and I'm just with a white brush because now we've changed that from white to black with a white brush, and I'll put the opacity down to probably around 25% and the flow as well. I'm just going to paint along that waterline there just to darken it up. Right, it's looking pretty good now, I think. Um, Alright, so the next step I would do is I'd do another stamp. It's Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And um, this is a really good filter. In um, I'm using CC. It is available in some of the early versions of Photoshop, but it's you need. Uh, it's not as easy. I've tried. You have to do it as a separate picture in Photo Raw, but in, in CC, you go to Filter, Camera Raws there, and I use this in nearly. Actually, before I do that, I want to show you something else that I normally do. Um, I'm going to cancel that. All right, so I'm going to give this a um, bit of a color adjustment. So I'm going to go down to here, Color Lookup, and. From this um, file here, I'm going to choose candlelight cubes. Normally, pretty good. I like that. All right, so I'll put that on to can the color lookup at candlelight cube. I change the blend mode to soft light, and you can see it's added a lot more um, tone and it's brought everything sort of together. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply that layer. So what it does is it messes with the tones on this layer mask and it does it like this, I'll show you. So you go to edit um, and that image, apply image. All right, so just the, the merged layers, color RGB, the blending is multiply, opacity is 100%. Now click OK. All right, so you can see there if you I don't know if you, you might be able to see on that tile there. It's um, everywhere. It's light. It hasn't hasn't um, um, applied the effect, but on the dark bits, it has. It um, sorry, on the dark bits, it's uh, it's it's taken away the effect, and on the lighter bits, it's uh, it's uh, left it there. All right, so I can turn that on and off, and you can see there's a bit of a color. Of a, you can see the colors have been adjusted. And I might do that just one more time because I do like those colours. So I'm going to go again, colour lookup, uh, candlelight cube. You can mess around with all of these. There's some pretty freaky colours in there. Change that to soft light. And this time I'm just going to reduce the opacity. All right, so it's brought some yellow golden tones to the image. All right. I'm going to do a stamp of that. Control Shift Alt Knee. Then to the camera raw. All right, so we can do a fair bit of stuff in this camera raw. Um, so let me try to put that into the screen. So um, my graphics card might freak out a little bit here, but um, I'm going to adjust the highlights a little bit slide those the whites and the highlights 
lighten up the shadows a little bit put the saturation down a fraction but the vibrancy up alright um, put the clarity up a bit as you can see I'm sort of sharpening it up a fair bit You can um, here. You can change the overall tones, tones of the image as well. I'm not going to do that on that slider. Um, just with the curves. Let's have a look here. All right. I just see that I don't want the white bits blowing out too much. Press OK. There you have it. <coughs> Alright, so that's before I did any of the um, camera raw filtering. And there's the final result. <laughs> it's pretty close to my original picture, I think. I don't know, there's the original. I've kind of a bit darker. But there you go. That's how I created this image. Thanks for watching. <laughs>